Hello, Lou Hamilton from Audible Elegance here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We are located a couple of doors north of the original Montgomery Inn on Montgomery Road, across the street from Montgomery Cyclery. So if you have a bike and need it tuned up, dig it to them, stop on by and say hello. We do work on Facebook, Instagram, and X. We also have a website, uh, www.audibleelegance.com. That's with two E's. We have on there our orphanage, uh, where we have new and used equipment you might take a look gander at. And I do a monthly blog. I'm sorry I'm a little behind this month, um, but I have things that are personal nature that require my attention. I thought I'd take a little time to talk about what I consider to be the worst time of the year to buy a record. And the reason I say that is um, a lot of people like to go to yard sales and to flea markets, you know, where you're not having to wear jackets. And a lot of the albums wind up sitting out in a lot of heat. Um, and if it's a flea market, they've probably had it in, in a, a non-air conditioned storage unit. And so there's a high probability that those records are going to be warped. Um, the warping will take the form of a bowl, a dish, depending on how they were stacked. Or, you know, if they were stacked like this, then this is going to have um, a solid weight all the way through it, but the, all of the edges are going to tendency to drip, is what I call it. Um, and um, so, you know, buying records, you know, that way. Same thing with yard sales. Now, if they have them in their garages or things like that where it's sheltered and the, house, the records were kept in the house sort of thing, yeah, you're in pretty good shape. Um, certainly, you know, the record stores are going to be a safe place to buy records uh, during the summer. But um, it does bring into question, uh, to me, a little bit of uh, the mail ordering situation and under what circumstances um, they're moved because... If they're going through the postal system, they do not use cooled container trucks. And if that container truck is sitting any place for any extended period of time, I really don't know what's going to happen to the record. Now, the better uh, sellers of used records are going to use um, boxes designed for uh, shipping records. They'll typically use cardboard on each side of the record after it's um, protected so that it maintains the rigidity of the box itself. Um, that's probably, you know, a good thing. So I would buy from uh, records from people who are um, experienced in, in really selling records as opposed to somebody who buys something at a Goodwill and manages to find, you know, a, you know, a Mrs. Don Butter box and folds it into a shape to ship a record. Um, I can't guarantee what the hell you're gonna get with something like that. So, um, I just wanted to give you the heads up because I did a video on brownouts and blackouts and this immediately brought to my attention, we are dealing with a lot of heat. And so when you start cracking, you know, that 100 degree mark, uh, havoc is going to be underway for sure. And um, please, whatever you do, if you carry your records in your car, after you get to your destination, get them out of your car because once that car gets baking at 160 degrees, Kiss those albums goodbye.